What's up? My name is Jeff, and this is Riley, my one-year-old Honda CRF 300 Rally. What I love about this bike is the way that it rides, the way that it handles, the way that it wears its weight. It's only like 330, 340 wet, and it's just, I love the way that it rolls into the corners. Um, it's super nice to have such a light uh, bike if you're going off-road. Um, it's easier to, to maneuver around. And then also, in case the bike decides to take a nap, which I had a couple of on this trip to Colorado, um, I could pick it up on my own. On that one, it was nice that my buddy Josh was there to help me pick it up. So ride with a buddy. It's also safer. Reliability, I'm not concerned at all. It's a Honda. It's a proven engine from a different bike. Um, it's a simple bike. The tech is very low. There's no fancy ride modes, traction control. Um, I love that too. It's very simple. Um, I love the stock exhaust. It's quiet. I don't want to be disturbing other people when I'm out there, but it has a nice sound to it. It's fine. Um, and then the tank. I'm currently getting 77.7 miles to the gallon on a 3.4 gallon tank, so I can easily push 200 miles. I've heard of guys that get upwards to 250. Woo. Uh, exactly what you want on an EV bike. So this road's really muddy. Holy crap. <laughs> I love the wind protection. The fairings are really nice. They create a nice pocket on the highway, um, but they don't feel like they block too much wind. Um, the uh, one thing about the fairings, there's these little adhesive sticker things with Velcro on the insides. Um, the adhesive has come off the tank on the left side. I might've done that in a drop or something, um, but it's, it's fine, it's just a little cosmetic thing. I can replace it, I can fix it. Future Jeff here, take it over for that good looking guy. The frame. My boots immediately started rubbing off the paint on the frame, about a quarter size spot on each side. Um, some people make protectors, but I think that's gonna limit how close I can get my feet to the bike and then also just be a spot where mud and water can collect. So my plan is to touch up the paint and then put like a 3M protective layer on it. And uh, yeah, unfortunate, but manageable. I have heard online people talking about the power. It's only a 300, uh, kind of maxes out at the top end. I've put some good highway miles on it, and yeah, there's points where you're laying on the tank and you're in sixth gear and you're full throttle open and that's all she's got, but it's manageable. And then the power down low is super great. For a new rider like myself, new to off-road, it was really nice to have a bike that, man, the power is just so smooth um, all the way through the range and lots of power down low, like I said. And yeah, it, it's, it's not gonna scare you. It's nice and smooth. And yeah, super confident building for a new off-road off -road rider like myself. I don't think that bigger bikes are better bikes. And that said, if you have the skills to maneuver all the weight around and you want that bigger engine, then literally more power to you. That's a terrible joke, thank you very much. Tip your wagers. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't I don't see a problem with where this bike sits in the lineup and it's perfect for my riding style. If I wanted to take a cross-country scenic highway tour of the US, there are better bikes. If I wanted to bomb single track and motocross trails, there are better bikes. But if I'm in those scenarios, this bike can handle it and can handle it very well within my riding ability and probably better than my riding ability and push me to get better. That's what I love about this. I don't think that there is a Goldilocks bike out there that is good for everyone, but I think there is a bike out there that is good for each person. There's a lot of complaints about suspension. I agree with, I'm not sure I really noticed it until I improved my skills a little bit. Um, but yeah, so that'll be something that I'm gonna swap out. If you got any pointers on what suspension you would do, let me know. Um, and then tires, I'm still rocking the stock IRCs, which on this muddy road are being pretty fun <laughs> so it is time to upgrade the tires and I've got a, another wandering trip coming up around the Great Salt Lake and that's gonna be a bunch of sand and gravel and so I'm going to upgrade the tires so similarly if you got any comments uh, recommendations what you guys put on your rallies your dual sports let me know I think a lot of the complaints that I see online are you know stuff that you can manage and stuff that is probably not what this bike was made for. 
and maybe it's just not right for your ride style but for me for what I do for riding backcountry trails small roads small towns seeing parts of the country in different ways moto camping riding a couple you know mountain passes or off-road trails here and there great I love this bike the things that I love about it are the reasons that I bought it in the first place so it's really nice to be <laughs> confirmed in that um, it is going to continue to push me to try harder and bigger things and support me and be able to grow with me and probably do a lot of those things better than I can. Um, and then it's reliable. Uh, it's a Honda, the engine's already proven, it's low tech. I'm not really concerned about major things going wrong, which is another weight off my shoulders. And then, yeah, I think there's a bike for everyone. And right now this is the bike for me. Um, and it's gonna continue to be the bike for me. And yeah. Happy birthday. I love her. Thanks for watching. Yeah, I agree. I have. Yeah, you too. Those peacocks? Awesome. <laughs>